Hello everybody. Today I'm just going to show you how to deploy a really simple Redshift cluster using CloudFormation. Um, so I created a CloudFormation template here. Uh, it's in YAML format. And as you can see, um, it's just deploying one resource and that is a simple Redshift cluster. Uh, I'm not going to go into a full explanation on CloudFormation in this lesson here, but um, there's two main properties here in the CloudFormation template, right? We have resources and parameters. Uh, parameters is just going to specify um, the names uh, that we, uh, certain parameters or, or values that we can use within our resources. Um, so I do have four different parameters that I'm, that I'm using here. So if we go into the resources section, we have this, what I'm calling this resource Redshift cluster. It's of type AWS, AWS Redshift cluster. Uh, and this is essentially the bare minimum that is needed to spin up a Redshift cluster. Um, first, we have the name of the cluster. So if you notice here, I have a reference to cluster name, which is right here. So in this case, I, I put a default as example cluster, but when we upload this to CloudFormation, we can change these defaults. Uh, so this is the name of the cluster. Uh, this is the type of a cluster. It's going to be multi-node. You could have a single node. Typically, it's recommended to have a multi-node cluster. Uh, this is just the name of the database. So this is the, the initial database that gets created when you create your Redshift cluster. Uh, right now, I just have the typical name as my Redshift DB. Uh, node type, uh, I kind of explained this in the previous lesson on the console. There's three different types. There's the DS, uh, there's the RA3, and the DC2. Uh, so I'm using the DC2 in this instance. It's the cheapest one. Uh, and number of nodes, I just have set to two. Port, this is the default one, 5439. Uh, and then I have the master username and master password. Again, I am just have these referring to parameters here in the parameter section. Uh, so this would be the super user uh, that gets created when you create your Redshift cluster. So I'm going to go into console. So from the console, if you go to services and you type in CloudFormation, go to create stack, going to upload a template. Uh, that's going to be the file, the YAML file. Then we would just name our stack. You can have uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers, or a dash. Uh, these are the parameters that were specified. I'm just going to leave default values for every single one of the parameters. Um, we can just for now leave this all as our default. Go to next. Not creating any IAM roles, just create stack. I'm just going to pause the video while this gets created. Okay, as you can see, the uh, cluster completed. Uh, in the stack. So if we go to Redshift, go to clusters, you'll see your example cluster right there. Okay. And uh, I will have the CloudFormation template linked in the description. That's all for today.